Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. And we're gonna continue today with our showcase of OPOA King. If you missed yesterday's video, we did a pretty in-depth breakdown. So make sure to check that out. And yeah, again, the list hasn't changed. I really like this list as I was recording these three videos. And it just feels so good when you can kind of get Jack on the field or the Camasso and be able to have Kusan and just kind of blow up the opponent's board. Now, today's matchups, we're going to start with one game against Calgara. So kind of like a board heavy centric deck. We're going to have one game against Black Yellow Luffy and then one game against a Rebecca player. So kind of like weird games where uh, like where, where I think the games kind of dragged on a lot, especially the Luffy and the Rebecca games, which is kind of one thing I can see that's kind of like a weakness for this deck. It doesn't really have, inherently, it doesn't have a way to like just finish the game on the spot, right? You're just going to be like slowly just outgrinding your opponent until you have enough cool sounds and enough, enough jacks to just kind of get through their life. But hey, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, Hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Calgara. And I think it's the first time I actually played against it. Uh, let's keep this hand. We have the stage. We have the queen. So hopefully this lets us get the jack. Uh, so this deck is like pretty aggressive, right? If I'm understanding correctly. Because they can just put, you know, whatever character from their... Uh, you know what? I think I wanted to go second, right? Because they have the six cost vanilla. So by letting them go second, they're able to play that on turn three. But then again, it's so good to play this Onigashima on, on the on the second turn, right? So it's kind of tough. It's tough. I have a lot of blockers, so that should also help a lot. Hmm. They do take life, though every time they do that so if they're not careful i could just like kill them i guess they get the card into their hand so that's what helps them out like it's not like the card doesn't get trash um it's my first time going against Calgara though so let's see let's see how this goes i don't know i don't know my opponent is just not there Target. Maybe they might be thinking on their mulligan. They might be trying to figure out what leader does. Not a lot of people are playing Kin in the in the in the OPOA right now. Okay, so opponent did a mulligan, all right? So uh, here we go, queen. And uh, we didn't find the jack. Uh, we could go queen, I guess. Oh, wait, we can't pick the queen. I forgot about that. Uh, who's who or Sasaki? Sasaki. Let's pick Sasaki for now. I might need the reduction. We'll stage. I, want, I really want the jack. If I can get the jack, I think I should be able to kind of control the board enough that it won't really matter whatever the opponent does. But this is tough. This is tough. Like, this is aggressive from my understanding. So what did they get here? They got a wiper. Oh, so they... Okay, they won't be able to play wiper next turn. And go five. We're gonna shoot counter this because they're gonna be taking their own life, right? But well, they didn't counter, so then we just go here, ramp up. Next time we're at six, so we can actually go Kamaso and Sasaki. I might give them the Nico Robin. I think since I don't have Jack right now, I think having that Nico Robin is might not be the greatest strategy. Uh they're putting with, but they do have they get the holy. There's multiple things I can do. I could just go who's who and get rid of the holy. Right? Because I don't, I don't know. I don't know that I want to play the king leader ability just yet. I want to be able to 
go to 10 before I do it. But I don't have anything more expensive. Because what I was thinking is like Sasaki and Kamaso are kind of kind of kind of like stunks right now, right? I guess this doesn't really do anything for us to play it that way. I think it has to just be here. Yeah, I think it just has to, especially because we have the stage. So we can go sit. Play who's who, discard the stage, and trash the holy. Or KO the holy. They still took that. That way we also have a who's who on the field, who's like a 5k. Netson will be a 9, so that's pretty good. We can go Kamaso, Sasaki, and have a lot of done to do whatever we need to do. Oh, they get the upper jar. Get the wiper. So which one are they gonna play? And I know they also have the other one, right? Uh yeah, they have the other wiper there. So yeah, they're gonna play one of them here. They have sits down, so they get to play the five one. And they get to also search something else here, right? So they, they get down to two lives again. They get the upper jar, which lets them search again. There are sits here, so that's gonna be another seven. There's my jack. That's all I needed. Now I really wish I set up this Kamaso earlier. Go to two. Come Hmm. So they get to draw another card here. But again, this is the thing, right? This has sits. We're able to KO the Wiper very easily. And then we have two done left to be able to attack this twice for six, I guess? Or do we just go five? Or do we just go five and seven into their leader? Maybe we just go five and seven into their leader. Like attacking sits here twice, I guess I guess it's fine, but but it has nine cards. Attacking five and then seven, forcing to give me three cards. Attacking sits and sits only gives them like one k one k. Yeah, let's go like this. What are we trashing? What are we trashing? The one k, I guess. So then we can go five and then seven. Because that way the opponent goes to one is not that likely. And I know they have a bunch of 2Ks, right? But it's making it harder for the opponent to use their leader ability if they're going down to one. Yeah, they have to give it a go. So I ended up taking three cards out of their hand here. I want to have blockers. The opponent has two attack. Technically, they have three attacks, right? They are, they're probably playing like the rush ace. Next turn, we'll start having Kamaso, and we can, like, start clearing their board, right? With Kamaso, Sasaki, and Kit. We have, technically, we're going to have, quote-unquote, 11 done to do it. I guess, let me let me backtrack, right? Because the only way for me to do that... I'm okay you killing the Husu. Any hit that's not going to my life, I'm happy with. Because I can control the board. I mean, I guess the opponent could KO this Jack. Do they play anything that can KO the Jack? Can't remember. They're not gonna use the leader effect. Hmm. Going down to one is risky. But you know, I'm a brave soul. So let's think about this now. Now we don't need to play Sasaki. We can just go Robin Kamaso. But that leaves me with no blockers. If we go here, if we go here and we play Kamaso, when we play Sasaki, no, it has to be it has to be Robin plus plus 
I'm at. So, right, so we're gonna go here. I'm gonna give them the two two case. I'm getting punished by another rusher next turn, I guess. So the opponent can attack. I have another 2k counter, so that ends up helping out a lot. Uh, I'm going to be able to draw a card here. No, that's not true, because I'm going to have to... Okay, well, I want to kill this. I guess I, I'm going to have to leave the Shura alive. I'm going to have to leave the Shura alive. Yeah, we'll go like this. here i'm kind of almost losing by the way if opponent just goes all in i almost i, I pretty much lose oh yeah, yeah this is scary opponent has to kill me this turn i'm able to clear the whole board otherwise so what is this five six six seven seven eight eight one nine one eight okay they can't beat me because i can i can i can give it a one eight so they can attack for nine and then they can attack for eight. That's not enough. For eight and nine, sorry. Because I have two Sasakis. And then I can go ahead and put the kid blocker. Yeah, okay, well. Yeah, we just go like this. Oh, I guess you know, I I lose two. I'm gonna have to counter the Shura hit. That's not a sure. Okay, so they get to go back. All right, all right. So how do we KO older units? We can here to KO one of these. Here to KO another one. So I can KO this two, right? Very easily. We just go like this. Kamasa will be able to kill that Kalgara. And we can actually go double blockers now. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, so we go here. Then we go here first to KO this. Then we go here to get an active done. Um, kind of want to have this queen. So the question is, do I go here first or do I draw first? I guess let's go here first. I think I think I definitely want to use the queen. That's cute. Yeah, so we can go five and then we can go six and now we have two blockers still have a life still chilling okay so with my two blockers the robin the Kamasu, and the jack i don't think the opponent has enough resources to get there so we i think we got we got there we stabilize right we go wiper you get to take another car. You get another. Okay, well, I mean, that's only a, that's a 3k counter, sure. So let's just remember that. You're gonna attack five, five, I guess five and seven, or six and six. But this is the problem with Kagara, right? You get to this point where your opponent has the, a big board, and you don't want to use this leader ability anymore, because if you do, you're gonna be like taking too much like you're gonna be going too far down in life unless you know like the play that the opponent did last turn is really what you want to do right the blank plus the Kalgara. 
Uh, yeah, we just go here then. And then we can play another kid next time. So we attack like this. Get this down to zero. Yeah, maybe I should have attacked for eight. <laughs> so I knew that the opponent had that, right? We're going to get a draw from, from this, by the way. Come on, opponent. Yeah, so we go here. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it was good. The opponent knows what's going to happen, right? The opponent knows what's going to happen. I go here. I can KO this. And I, I get two active dons, right? So... But what I ended up disconnecting, like at this point, it's just a matter of like, yeah, a matter of time, right? Like, I did that, right? Then I go here, I took KO the Shura, and then I still have two more attacks here, right? I could just also just kill them, right? But because I'm putting ahead to life, but yeah, unfortunately, we stabilized, and that's what ended up sucking for the opponent. So, GG's in this match, we're gonna against Luffy, all right? Um. I want to go second, just to, just to, okay, well, this is an amazing hand, right? I want to go second just to uh, settle the Kusan. Uh, so we're going to take it really slow here, just set up Kusan and kind of go from there, right? Opponent could have their own Kusan, which is fine. All right, we'll chill here. We'll play there on the Geshima. Oh, this Nico Robin is actually really good as well. I'm going to have to take it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it. I don't wanna put I don't wanna like set up damage damage, right? So we'll go like this and we'll pass. Uh I can counter if the opponent goes for like another three, I can counter that. Eventually, obviously, they'll have their their sabos, which is gonna be annoying. But like next time we're gonna be at seven. Yeah, so here you go. They're gonna start doing their thing. So next time we're at seven. Um do I need to play this Nico Robin at any time in this game? I think I'm gonna give them the Nico. I think I'd rather play Queen next turn unless okay, sad. The opponent play the Luffy. So I guess we'll have to go Jack, right? Yeah, so we'll have to go like this. That, that takes it down to three. Uh we'll go here. So let the two down. Get this. Go here. He sucks because he kind of messes up my curve a little bit. Uh what are we trashing though? I don't want to trash the queen. It seems like such a big thing. Maybe we trash the Gatling, to be honest. Uh, oh, almost forgot to ramp. And we'll just pass, right? So as soon as I'm able to KO those Luffy's as they come down, I should be okay. Forcing the opponent out to find like more stuff. Uh, it does put the Kusan a little bit behind than what I wanted. Um, I still don't want to take that much damage. So let's go like this. He also sets me up to be able to just draw. Okay, I got another Luffy. All right. All right, so that's annoying. That's super annoying. So we're going to go down to six, seven. So the, the reason why this is, an, I, I might actually go Sasaki and not mess up my Dawn here. Yeah, I can go Sasaki. And then go like this. And uh, we can always go here. We can always go Queen. Ice Age? Do I need another Jack at this point, to be honest? I don't think so. Oh, that's that kind of that's kind of rough, right? I lost four blockers in one search. Ugh. Yeah, so I just want to be able to play the Kusan next time. That, that, that's really all I want, right? So I want to be able to play this Kusan. Opponent has shown me two Luffy's already. Obviously, they're going to start having those, 10K, those those 2k counters to get the rest of their life. But once you have the Kusan on the field, the opponent's going to have to start looking for their saddles, um, obviously, and, and do their stuff. But I want to set up the Kusan. And once I have the Kusan set up, it should be a lot more straightforward of what I need to do. Um, I, I, I was wondering if it was better to get rid of the Ice Age, but the Ice Age could actually come useful. If for some reason I, I don't have the opportunity to keep that Kusan alive, or if I need another way to get rid of their stuff. Um, yeah, but it's gonna have to, like, I want them to use their 2k counters to take the last two life. Hopefully they don't find the third Luffy. 
Well, that's an easy one. Yeah, I mean, I still have the Sasaki here anyway, so this is fine. Ace. I'm okay with this, right? Mm, I'm okay with this. I go down to two life. Because I could counter here. Hmm. Well, all we need to do is just go here. And then we're going to go like this. Draw a car. Oh, that's actually really good in this matchup. That's actually really, really good in this matchup. Do I want to cycle here? So, I could cycle. I could cycle. Hmm. Let me cycle. I want to just cycle so that we can, like, get a better hand than what we had, right? Because we had a bunch of non-counter cards. We only found a 1k, which is not great. I can always block with the queen to save the jack. The point is still at two lives. And at this point, we have a lot of big units. So we could actually just force him to... Like, the opponent has to have two ways to take lives here. Which is going to be at least three down. Or I guess it could be two down if it's like two Machinos. Or it could just be a Machino and then they can play the baby to take the last life. Regardless, it's going to be two to three down, right? We'll have the Kusan, so they need to find... Because we have the Kusan and Jack combo, they need to find exactly Sabo. We'll have the Slinling. We can, we can actually mess them up by putting like something like a Gecko on top of their life. Forcing the opponent to have to have another 2k next turn, right? Okay. Mm. All right, so here's the question now. When it has three, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Nine cards. We can attack nine, nine, 10, 11, 10, 11, 11, three times. 11, three times, opponent just takes it, takes it, and then just goes 2K, 2K. They're gonna be up to 11 cards. I need one more unit. I need one more unit to really make this worth it. Do I want to cycle again, maybe? But then if I cycle again, there's a chance I can lose this, this jack. Oh, that would have been so good to get. I guess I should have cycled. The saddle would have been the perfect thing for us to get. That would actually be the perfect thing for us to get. Ah, man. Um, hmm. I should have probably uh, drawn first, by the way. I know I'm, I'm giving the opponent a lot of time, but I want to I wanna have at least like three big bodies on the field before I start attacking into their life. Or force them to use their 2k counters to lose the last life. Uh, again, this Lily should be really clutch later on, and every turn we're drawing two cards because we're drawing an extra card with the, with the king. I've, I lost a lot of my blockers though, right? We, we bottom deck four. We just saw another one get bottom deck, so that's five blockers. We use one queen that sits. So I'm running short on blockers. Hmm. 10. Nah, okay. That's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just go like this. And then next time we can attack as much as we want. So if the opponent goes ahead and, and, and uses their effect here. Hmm. I could force him to have to find another 2k counter or another way to get rid of their get rid of their last life. Oh I forgot to draw by the way. Oopsie daisies. I played Kusan and forgot to draw, so I should have been a, I should be at five cards on it. That's my mistake. 
I need to remember that when I'm when I'm when I'm at 10 down, I can just drop off. That's the Machina, all right. So this is what I was talking about. So if this is a big, if this is a, a three brothers, he can actually just get it by playing a little brother right now. Yeah. So now, now this is where the game is gonna start. This is where the game really starts. But they need to find the Sabo, because otherwise, okay, so Hiyori. So they need to find the Sabo, because without Sabo, there's gonna be a problem. They can actually go ahead and, you know, this Sabo. They can go ahead and get the leader to 11k if they want to. Uh, the weird part here is that I don't want to play the Lin Lin on the Sabo. I'd rather save this for like a Gecko. Opponent had whatever the opponent plays next. If it's not another Sabo, if the opponent does have another Sabo, which they have one in their trash. Ooh, they're playing Rebecca. Interesting. I guess Rebecca lets you bring back the little babies without having to have Moria. That's interesting. So they can only play one more baby, right? So they'll go to nine. Hmm. Yep, so it's going to be another Sabo, which makes sense. You have to play the Sabo. Problem now is gonna be these blockers. I can put a Hiyori on the top of their life and force the opponent to, to have to find another Luffy or something else. But then the opponent still has two blockers after that, which is kind of annoying. But that does give me another big unit. We add it to the top here. That's that's perfect, actually. And uh, we just pass, right? Make it hard. Make it so the opponent has to find another two two K counters and just slowly grind them out of cards where we develop this big board. We have another lane link, so if the opponent finds like a, I guess the opponent opponent cannot even play Gecko and like take their own life because they don't actually have a Hiyori. Or a Mac, you know, in their trash. So, like, they could have, like, if, if they had another one of those, they could have literally, like, you know, taken their stuff. Jack can KO the blockers. The problem is that the opponent is still going to have two freaking life, right? If, if all they do here is just attacking to us. But now we have four attacks, right? Or five attacks if you come my leader. Which makes a big difference. Weird game, weird game. But this is the reason we play Lin Lin, right? We only play two of them, and it's for this matchup. I also wish I had a blocker. Having a blocker would be nice. But as long as we force them again, I, I want to force them to have to continue using resources anytime they want to like use their leader ability. So they already gave us a Machino and a Hiyori last turn. They, they need to give us another Machino or Hiyori this time. So, uh, ironically, I actually maybe don't want to take this just because I want to stay low in hand so I can keep drawing. So maybe we just go like this. There's the Gecko. Rebecca? So... We can kill the Gecko, right? Problem is the blockers. The opponent gets another Sabo here, right? You can also just go Lin Lin again. 
But then again, that puts the opponent at three life, and then like, what am I doing if the opponent's at three life? The problem is that the opponent's at three life, it has all these blockers now. So the opponent has all these blockers now, which is gonna make it kind of hard for us to do anything. Because it's too easy for them to just stay alive, right? I like putting the gecko on the bottom of their life. Again, we know we have the jack at any time as well to, to just KO one of these if necessary. I'm gonna if I go for five and the opponent takes that, then we have KO a blocker. They have three blockers. So they can survive. Yeah, they can survive. This is the problem, right? Like I just I just let them get that value. I need to do this now. That's a good draw. If I put the gecko on the top, the opponent will have to still have another Hiyori. I might just go, I might just attack here with everything. And then put the gecko on the top when I'm all said and done. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I'm just gonna put the gecko on the top, still force the opponent to have to give me another 2k next turn, and also mess it up so that they cannot just go gecko. They still don't have... Okay. If they give me this blocker right now, I might honestly just say okay. And just put the gek on the top. Or maybe not. Maybe I do want to just take him down to one life and put the gek on the top anyways. Because put it, for the opponent to use their things, like they shouldn't have enough resources right you can go 10 and then we can go 11 and play play the lin ling and also get to draw a car they have another sabo in their hand right so they can protect their units from dying next turn from my from my jack so they are gonna take it all right so so again here's the question we know that the opponent can just literally play sabo next turn So maybe we just go like this and we set up again yeah <laughs> like we just do it like this and again the opponent has to go hiori here but by them playing hiori that's too darn and they take that life and then they will go luffy take that other life so that's four down they have to have two down for their leader so that's six they can put you know a sab on the top and play the sabo so they go to a 9k leader and they end up with one life and one blocker. That might have been enough, honestly, because they could have killed one of my units. So I'm surprised they didn't just go for that. Hmm. Weird game. <laughs> We're game, we're game. I, I do like the Linlins, right? It's, it's just all about making the opponent's life more uh, awkward. And by having the Linlins to just pop their stuff back, allows me to just like slowly set up my board and just make it awkward. And I, you know, every, every time I'm just drawing an extra card anyways. Um, and then eventually you just have to find the opportunity to just slam your units into them, right? So, little, little weird, little weird. <laughs> GG's. In this match, we're going against Rebecca. Interesting. Let's see if we find a stage. Um, no stage. No stage. Okay. Do we think they play Red Rock? Do we think they play Red Rock? Or is this just going to be a situation where Kusan just ends up winning us the game? 
I mean, they're playing, they're blue, right? So they are blue. So it's possible. The Sabo is also kind of annoying, actually, now that I think about it. What if we just play Black Maria here? So that we could just draw next turn. So I like the Black Maria because I won't be going too much down on Dawn. I guess I will because the opponent's one less done than us. So if I do that, I'm kind of like opponents have four. So technically, I'm going to go down to four if I do it like this. Um, it's too good, though, to pass up, isn't it? Go to four and that'll be at six. Yeah, let's go here. Uh, okay, so we can go. How do we want to do this? We can go here. No, because he's going to stay alive. Queen. The problem is that I don't have... I don't have enough. I can just kill the Rebecca, I guess. I can just go like this. I can just go here and I guess just attack for six. And then I go down to four. When I actually took it. We go to six next turn, but again, we can do the same thing with the Black Maria to use my leader. Okay, well, okay, well, I mean, I guess I can use my leader. The thing is that I cannot even use him to draw. That's a good one. I can use it to draw now, right? Because I can go here. So I can go queen, draw, you know, do my stuff. Kamasa doesn't really do anything, but at least I get to draw a little bit. I uh, will go here. Let's go like this. I'm not opposed to keeping this, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not opposed to keeping both. It's so greedy. It's so greedy, but if I keep both, how is the opponent ever killing us? That's a nice Sabo. We go to eight. The problem is that I don't have Jack, right? So I'm not literally killing anything from the opponent. I'm going to have to just rely on these Kusans. I hope that the opponent doesn't have Red Rock in their hand. Or that they don't play it. But with the Kamasu in the field, I'm going to start putting a lot of pressure into their units. Surely they don't play Red Rock. I mean, I have a second one just in case, right? So... The Kiris are going to be really annoying to deal with. Although, I guess they're going to be slowly getting killed too. I guess the annoying part here is going to be this Luffy eventually. Being able to actually attack into my active characters. So it's not like I can just hide behind him. Yeah, you kill this. You lose Rebecca and Gekko. That's a huge That's a huge uh, deal. And you don't have a way to... Put, oh, well, I guess the Sabo doesn't matter because you're okay for now. Uh, you can only attack characters the same character the same turn right but i don't have any characters to attack so you just wasted two down there this doesn't let you attack leaders this only lets you attack characters on the opponent so the opponent wasted two down so they can attack for seven here if i had jack my my role for a jack i guess i can go i can go queen i can go queen And try to see if I actually hit the jack. Because if I get the jack, can kill the Sabo and Kamas can kill Rebecca, I guess. Hmm. Question is, do I want to take this damage? If I block this, I'm going to have to use another 2k counter.
Let's go like this. It might, might have been worth it to keep the second Kamasa, to be honest. To like blow up their boar. It's the same thing, right? Whether. Okay, so I ended up getting another Kamaso anyways. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go here. There it is. There's the boy. That's who. That's who we care about, right? So we go Jack. Give this minus three. This pops another one. So I give give this out minus two. This can KO the Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. We'll go here. I kind of... Is the Sabo better than the Kid? I want to I, I wanna get rid of one of these two. I, I'm really going to just play double, double Kusan, by the way. Let's go... Let's go here. I don't want to attack with this Kamaso, by the way. I kind of want to let the Kamaso stay where he at, where he's at. Uh, I need to go here too, by the way, so that I can be a ten next time. Ooh. So they're gonna get rid of the queen if they have a second, a third Kiros? Yeah, they have a third Kiros, all right. The good thing is that uh, this thing stay alive, right? The bad thing for them, by the way, is that because they actually gave me this Rebecca, they can attack me twice here. Again, this doesn't work. It's only these two that can attack me, yeah? Um. I'm, I'm probably not gonna need this attack, right? So, so this thing here, I can just kill it with the jack, right? So I can go like this. I can just KO the Kiros, right? You're gonna have to rest your stage. And then I go like this, and I guess I can just honestly go here. And I can actually threaten the second Kairos as well. I don't know that I want to get rid of the Kamaso. I don't know that I want to attack with the Kamaso. I'm still scared about Luffy though, but at least this is forcing the opponent to have to have Luffy. I guess they'll probably have the double attack, right? They could have the double attack here, but they only have... So it would have to be double attack and then also letting the other two damage go through. We have three 2k counters, so I don't know that I'm too scared of this. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have possibilities next, though, right? I don't have to play the second Kusan just yet. I can just play another Kamaso. Because again, Kamaso is going to let me just pop their units. I guess Kusan also does the same thing, so it depends if I have anything else I want to play. Well, this sounds to me like I'm going to play... Um, yeah, okay, it sounds to me like I'm just, I know, I know exactly where I'm going to play them. The Kiros are annoying. Uh, this is only their Strauss attack, right? So the opponent cannot attack with the Moria. So one, two, removal. One, two, removal. Ah, oh, sorry, one, two, removal. If we go here, I mean, I can also just go who's who instead. Opponent can save Kairos, though. They have two ways to save Kairos, right? Because one of these is going to KO this, one of these is going to KO this. So I don't even know that I care about the Kairos. I think we just kill the other stuff and we should be okay. Okay. 
So now it's when he gets dicey, right? Because again... Like, I can play this... Everything that they have will die to my stuff, right? I can play Kamaso, but that's a 2k counter that I'm gonna give up. If I play Kamaso, I get to keep sits down after. I play Kamaso, I go here, go minus 2 to draw, and I can kill the Rebecca. And kill, like, Akiros. That gets you the one thing. Then here kills the Jack. Then I can attack the Kiros with Kusan. And I attack it with this. And it's only getting rid of one Kiros. It's like, it doesn't even feel worth it. It really doesn't even feel worth it. But I do, I do, I am of the opinion that I do want to draw. I just think I probably want to just play Kusan. Like, I don't think I care about um, the Kiros. Like, I think I just want to go like this. Right? And I think I'm just gonna go five, five, eight, ten, maybe? Or maybe I should have just attacked their Kairos anyways. Hmm. This is interesting. Like, these Kairos are so annoying. The fact that he can keep it alive. Do we think that they gave us one here? Maybe they don't give me the counter. Maybe they just decide. Okay, they actually decided to give me the counter. So they, they they know they know what I'm trying to do. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna attack into your life. Since you gave me the counter anyways. Uh we have quite a bit of 2Ks. You even gave me another 2K back to my hand, so I'll take that. Why why do that? Wait, opponent, that Black Maria was doing nothing. You could have used the Hound Blaze to give yourself another 1k here. I'm confused. So, 8, 8, 8, 9, 9. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's go here, here, here. 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 You have one life left. Yeah, you have one life left. They didn't find the double attack, I guess. So that's probably why they couldn't do anything else, to be honest. Yeah, they played the double attack, right? Where is it? It should be... I thought I just saw it. Is it in the trash? I thought I just saw it in their in their, in their their deck. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. I keep skipping it, skipping it, skipping it. Ah, I keep skipping it. There we go. If they went for the double attack... Maybe, but I have so much counter, especially once they gave me that Black Maria, and I had another 2k counter on my life. I don't think I was ever dying. The Kivers were definitely annoying, because obviously there's no way for me to get them out of the board when the opponent has stage and leader. Um, well, hey, it is what it is. So, anyways, <laughs> GG's. Hey, welcome back, hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed today's games. I told you that those two games were weird, like Rebecca and Luffy. Like... We had the Lin Lin, right? And we got to get value from her like I expected to. But I feel like there were some things I probably could have done better there. It was really, really a weird game. And then the Rebecca game was also weird because you had like all those Kiros that couldn't do anything. But we got the two Kusans to stick and that's like kind of solid, right? But then the Kagawa game kind of is a good example of exactly what I want to do with this deck, right? Just have the have like my, my removal on the field and just slowly remove the opponent's units, slowly grind them out. And eventually you just win the game. Right, so I think that's a good example of what Kin is trying to do with all the ramping and all the minus two or draw that you use with his ability. So yeah, we have one more video with King coming out tomorrow. So if you want to keep up to date with that, make sure to like the below and subscribe to us. We post one piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day.